Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be taking a very very quick look to Daredevil Netflix and I'm going to give my uh, first impressions a bit later on in the video as well. But uh, first things first, so I did record this fight just before uh, the update went live or a couple hours before that. And I'm not running Suicide Masteries, which I've now is impossible to do with uh, Daredevil Netflix, which is going to be another grab point. But uh, this is just a showcase, kind of like his best case scenario. So this is a rank 3 SIG 200 Daredevil Netflix. I brought in a synergy team that I, at the time, kind of like felt could potentially help him the most. It extends the armor breaks quite significantly, gives him some extra crit rating, extra crit damage. And uh, the synergy team is going to be slightly different for the post-buff fights because some of those synergies have been obviously changed because the Daredevil Netflix after the buff doesn't have any access to armor breaks and all of those synergies would be useless. So actually there are a whole bunch of new synergies in the game like Kingpin synergies changed, Mole Man synergies changed, uh, Hit Monkey synergies changed with Daredevil Netflix, so has been She Hulks, I believe, so on and so forth. So basically, there's a whole bunch of new set of synergies in the game. Unfortunately, I don't think it's going to be too relevant though. So here we can see that pre buff, <laughs> we had 44 hits in, and uh, we have done like what 8% damage. Now, I'm assuming I'm not playing him in a perfect rotation, which is fair enough. However, I am making sure that the vast majority of my hits are basically mediums while the opponent is stunned, so I have the best chance to place armor breaks or heavy attacks. So that means that uh, his damage output is actually higher than it would be with regular rotations because I'm cutting my combo short and on average I'm landing a lot more uh, kind of like higher damage hits. And uh, it was taking forever. <laughs> the full fight actually took nearly 12 minutes. And the 12 minute mark is, I think, pretty much the slowest time I have actually recorded myself any champion do Winter Soldier fight. Uh, so yeah, his damage output was really, really, really bad. I think at some times I got up to like 15, 16 armor breaks and I still couldn't do jack. And um, yeah, damage output really was not good or even acceptable or tolerable. And as I said, 12 minutes is a very, very large amount of time to be taken for a Winter Soldier fight. I think, yeah, I'm, I cannot remember any other champion who I have recorded this fight with that would have taken longer. But anyways, we are closing into the end here. Uh, we're going to see the total number of hits in a moment. And uh, yeah, we dropped that level 2. Level 1, unfortunately, didn't crit, so it didn't stun either. But still, he's at like 6%. I do have one point in Assassins, which is again helpful. I did lose my combo quite obviously somewhere in the middle. So uh, we're going to see exactly how many hits this fight was just in a few uh, moments. Last 2%. percent i going to go for level 1. And that finishes it off with a nice, beautiful, juicy 4k crit. So 446 hits. It's not a good shoving at all. Now, next up, I have changed up my synergy team a bit to kind of capitalize more on the damaging synergies. And uh, this is after update. Uh, so his animations have changed. His animations definitely have changed for the better. I do enjoy them a lot more. I do like the fact that they changed special one and special two. I think they overdid it a bit with the special one though. <laughs> it's like eight hits or something. But fair enough, I also had kind of hoped they would change his level 3, but uh, that didn't happen. So I will make a couple of mistakes in this fight as well, <laughs> like right now I got hit. But the whole point of him is kind of basically to dip in and out uh, of that first to second stance, and with that gain debuffs, gain fury buffs. I will go for level 3 at some point in this fight as well, because it is really helpful in longer fight to have that access to level 3. He does have some fairly interesting things going for him, like he can shrug off debuffs when he's on a low combo, like he can place debuffs on himself, and for each debuff that he has, he can gain extra attack, and then he can gain fury buffs. If, when you drop a heavy attack, he can gain cruelty. And overall, there are kind of like plenty of things he can do. The trouble is that it doesn't quite seem worth the effort. 
Now, don't get me wrong, he certainly is a lot better than he used to be, and he certainly does have a lot more unique, interesting things about him now, but yeah, not much of it seems quite well thought out enough, like uh, his rotations, I don't know, they do not seem quite as smooth as I would have hoped to, his utility is uh, limited at best, I would say, and his damage output is subpar, so... For a full overhaul, let's say if Daredevil Netflix would be announced to be released as a new champion in 2020, let's say if he was the second champion coming out next to Spider-Ham, I would immediately call him a dud, right? It, it, it It's easy to come across ungrateful or whatever and not look at everything from the bright side and, oh, well, at least he's better than he was. But yeah, no, it's not a successful change in my opinion. I don't really see much uh, future for the guy. I'm sure there are going to be some enthusiasts who already either rank the champion up or just like Daredevil or Netflix series period and will try to squeeze the maximum amount of juice. Like every champion pretty much has some sort of small following. But uh, if the question is whether I do think that he's going to be like a common option for many hard fights or many hard quests or potentially alliance war and so on and so forth no no i think it's one of the biggest uh fail full overhauls that we have ever had to be honest because uh, we have had better results with some of the small built updates so it kind of does seem like a bit of a waste in my opinion considering how great overhauls of the past have been uh she hulk venom colossus magneto Obviously, not all of them were as good, but even then we have like Spider-Gwen, White Magneto, Carnage. All of those champions are still usable. They might not be the greatest, but there are things that they can do. And Daredevil kind of lies in the same area. But at the same time, I think he's on the more disappointing side. There are a lot of things that, that could be better about him. Like this miss mechanic on his heavy attacks. If he had it in his base hit... It would change a lot, it would mean a lot, but to bring in a synergy just for that, for a champion that's not that amazing, yeah, no, thank you. And uh, same goes for plenty of different things. So yeah, uh, my initial impressions, and I will not kind of like jump to conclusions and try to give out my final verdict on Daredevil, because as I said, there are plenty of cool things and there are some interesting things that he can do. So we'll do a proper review video once I have had a chance to play with him, test him out a bit. But purely looking at the damage output update, which is kind of like one of the main points of this video, is quite underwhelming, I would say. I think the best way to put this would be that his ability kit is nowhere great enough for it to be worth it to tolerate this mediocre damage output because uh, that's how this game goes if the champion has insane damage output even if he doesn't have the biggest utility kit people still often use it and play with it and love it and try to get the best out of the champion because the damage makes it easier makes it better or if the champion is extremely versatile but doesn't have the absolute best damage people don't care about it because there's a ton of things the champion can do their duel doesn't fit either so you can see after update, we got to 276. It's definitely quicker. It's a lot quicker than it used to be. 276 and before it was like 460, 446. So it's a significant improvement. Unfortunately, just not quite good enough. And the last thing that I'm going to quickly mention, and uh, I'm going to showcase this fight here. Now, this fight, I definitely, once again, do not play perfect, but just look how quickly you lose the health, especially at the beginning with Suicide Masters. Even if you do have the debuff up, uh, we got to like, what, 20-something hit combo, and we lost 20-plus percent of our health. And uh, for the remainder of the health, even if we have that rage debuff on us, we're healing 38 and losing 57 health. So if you would double it, as you would for like a maxed out 5-star uh, champion, you would be basically ticking down for like, what, 114 and healing up for 70, 76. So you'd be basically dead quite quickly. I think Cam did calculations on this and uh, you die with Suicide Masteries in like under four minutes 
total fine time if you do not take any extra <laughs> damage. So Deadwill also has uh, managed to go to pretty much the most uh, Suicide Mastery unfriendly champion in the game period because he's the only champion in the game that uh, will simply die by himself that quickly running Suicide Masteries. And I do understand that there are plenty of people who do not care about Suicide Masteries and there are plenty of people who do not mind changing uh, from, from and back to Suicides. But again, Deadwill isn't... A champion that's quite worth it. For instance, Doctor Doom. Doctor Doom is one of those champions where you really don't want to run Suicide Masteries with him. But he is so good that it's often worth changing your mastery setup to gain the best version of Doctor Doom. Deadwill is nowhere near that quality of a champion. And the fact that uh, you can forget about being able to use him uh, whenever you do have these masteries active. At, at this point, I think it's slightly irritating more so than anything else because the description ironically says he was his healing was too powerful. Nothing, absolutely nothing about Daredevil seems too powerful. And uh, even if he had a normal base healing with 100%, he wouldn't be that amazing of a champion. He would be significantly better, but he still wouldn't be a great champion. But then at least you could run him with Suicide Masteries and also heal up occasionally. Anyways, uh, as I said, I will do a full review of the champion uh, not uh, not too long from now. I'm going to probably take a couple of days to play with him here and there and try and see what he can and can't do. Overall, I think uh, the common idea is that initially it does seem underwhelming. I will uh, wait a few days before I judge him fully, but uh, that is it for now, and uh, yeah, I'm going to catch you guys soon. See ya. Hello there guys, and welcome back to the channel. So, we have all the information about...